Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 56, ow, that's hot, of Darwell20's Enigmatic 2 Expert in Mode series. Uh, today I'm getting ready to build my modular machine, for which I am very hyped and excited. Um, so I, I started playing around this blueprint thing and, and checking a couple different ways you can do stuff. Um, rendering the preview in world is not easy. Um, I found the best way to do it is to flip it to this mode, right? Um, and then you can figure out like what you need. So we need an item output here and we need fluid energy item output, right? So item input will be here and then fluid item output and the energy hatch goes here. And then we're gonna have these guys here. Cool. Uh, and then the next layer which we should be cool with. Hey, get back here. Um, should be the, the six mutagen blocks and then machine casings all around the outer edge. Or they could have been hardened glass, but I went with the casings. Oh, and this block here in the front uh, is gonna be the machine controller, right? So we'll drop the controller here. Cool. And then you guys all around can be that. And then we get our buckets of mutagen. So one, two, three, four, five, six mutagen buckets. Cool. Um, and then the top level is going to be casings on the outside, vents, and then down the middle is machine circuitry. And that should be cool. Then I put the blueprint in, advanced metallurgic fabricator, structure found, advanced metallurgic fabricator, no matching receipt recipe found. Okay, cool. All right, so we have the thing. I think we've done the thing in the stuff. All right, so to make titanium ingots now, we need liquid chlorine in addition to the magnesium, salt, and carbon plates. <laughs> All right, <laughs> shenanigans, levels of stuff. So liquid chlorine, um, which apparently is mechanism only, All right? So it's liquid chlorine, uh, which we get from condensating regular chlorine, which we get from the electrolytic separator of brine, gets us sodium and chlorine. And brine comes from water in the thermal E condensator controller thingy. Or we can throw salt into the melter and that gets us brine at 50 millibuckets. It's a very, very small amount of, more of brine though, like super teeny, right? Super teeny amount of brine. Or we can do this thermal evaporation controller from mechanism. So that's an option, right? And this doesn't show me numbers on how much sodium and chloride we get. I'm assuming because brine is probably salt water, right? So sodium chloride, one and one. It should be similar amounts of sodium and chlorine if it's following normal actual numbers so but then sodium from mechanism can be used for what to make liquid sodium uh, uh, all the things all the things all the things all right so there there's your options right we can we can uh get brine uh either from the thermal concentrator or a very tiny teeny tiny amount from salt and i'm assuming melter from nuclear craft um when you melt down salt into brine that that's just not worth it so should we go and make the thermal controller thing this is a this is another multi-block from mechanism but i remember it being not too terrible um and i think technically it, it it's it gets us close to some advanced stuff in mechanism including or quadrupling maybe but i'm not entirely sure so why don't we look at doing that today, right? Because we've got this machine, this modular machine thing hooked up, right? So he's ready to roll, right? Which is cool. Uh, right here is our energy input hatch. So we're gonna totally need power here. I have no idea how much power you use. Where is some light? Um, no idea how much power you'll wind up using, but hopefully it's not too bad. You can see I did a little bit of off-camera prep work, right? 
proud of me? Hope so. Go die or go with the off-camera prep work. All the wiring and whatnot. All right, so that should get you the power you need, Mr. Modular Machine. So now we have to get the brine. So let's um, let's prepare that, shall we? I'm gonna get uh, do a little bit of looking into what's involved in making that thermal e controller thing because um, yeah, that I I remember it's a multi-block and that's about all I remember from it. So we'll be back in a minute. So making four advanced solar generators is a lot of crafting. Who'd have thunk? I'm hoping that the batteries work. They're the ones that always mess with it. All right, so I think I've got most of what we need here, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Let's also grab a sink while we're at it, because we know we're going to want one of those. Uh, some conduiting. Uh, pressurized fluid conduit, that sounds good. Um, a tank. Uh, I could make another one of these, right? Uh, and maybe uh, upgrade kit it. Oh, no, you're not supposed to be doing that. Uh, Wrong UI. This is what I get. So we're gonna want one of you. Uh, and let's get a hardened upgrade kit. Just cause, right? Uh, so that's two thermal evaporation valves. Then we need a controller. Needs an ultimate fluid tank. So let's get one of those. <clears throat> These are actually pretty easy-ish to get. Um, you just need four of each tier of material right um so usually when i'm making these i'll just do like four of these do it in this order that way it doesn't use um what you made previously to to make what you're making next makes sense should be pretty straightforward uh where's that kit cool so you should be good now and you should be good now and you should be good now, and then the evaporation controller is ultimate fluid tank. You have one. I just gave you an ultimate fluid tank. Again, with the NBT funniness, but that's all right. If I was doing, um, let's see, that's the controller. If I was being a little bit better, bing, just make sure that you're cool, right? Um, with like or dictionary type options but i usually i usually try not to do the or dictionary option because it, it can sometimes be funny about what it considers or dictionary ish if i have to i will but i try to avoid it you know what i mean making all the things i bet we got some lasers going on down there yeah we do what's up lasers good job That's the funny thing about the Actually Editions display stand crafting system. Um, <clears throat> the, the speed at which it's allowed to accept energy is lower than the speed at which it uh, can transmit energy. So it can be a nuisance sometimes to get things going. Uh, so I'm thinking probably the best place to pop this dude, right? Because we've got, this is item output. So like, why don't we just put, oh, I'm going to get yelled at so much. Um, this guy out here. So what we want to start with for this right um is and and we're gonna want this to be the fluid input hatch right so let's start with this kind of in the ground so you start with a four by four base right um Add a hollow ring of thermal evaporative blocks on top of the base. The corners must be filled. Now this can be uh, as many as three to 18 blocks tall. And the taller it is, the more heat it can hold, which equates to how much, um, how much uh, stuff you can have in, in there. Um, so there's my controller. So the controller will probably sit here um the the valves will sit here and maybe here to my to my understanding it can be kind of sized however you want it to be like or shaped however you want to shape it's just like a kind of generic-ish multi-block right so we'll go with oh hello hello there you apparently have a temperature already all right neat 
that's that's a thing. Um, remove at least two of those. Place either advanced solars or a thermal evaporation block on the corners of the top layer. So I guess what you're telling me is the top layer doesn't need a roof of any kind. So you should be cool. That's neat. Let's take a quick nap so that it's daytime. And again, the, the taller it is, the faster it'll run. So we're going to see what it looks like with with this setup, and then we may need to expand it, right? Um, also, the solars are optional. If you want, you can do something to pipe heat into there, but the solars produce the heat for you, so it's just like a little bit more passive. Um, so that should be cool. So if we want you to be fluid import, right? Let's put a sink. West will be insert, down will be extract, always active, boom. So are you therefore producing brine? You are producing brine. Hooray! How cool is that? All right, nice. Now to be fair, we need a little bit <clears throat> by way of processing of that brine, right? Because the brine needs to be um, electrolytic separated into chlorine, and then the chlorine has to be deconcentrated um, into liquid chlorine, right? So we need an electrolytic separator which I'm pretty sure needs an electrolytic core, so I might as well craft one. Separator. Yeah, see? Needs an electrolytic core. Sweet. Um, let's get like 10 of you enriched alloys. Right, and a condensator, which, hey, we have one of. Sweet. Okay, so would you, per chance, accept fluids from the top? What are the chances that you'll accept fluids from the top? Because you don't have a sidedness config. Oh, you do? Nice, look at you, good job. South, right? Um, So that's doing that, right? So you're getting your brine and you're making your sodium and your chlorine. Not too shabby. Now, if we want, we can make this taller to make this process a little bit quicker, right? Um, production, one millibucket per tick, right? So if we want, um, we can get more thermal evaporative blocks. So each ring is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, right? So a dozen of these is a ring. So if I got two more, which should be pretty quick to craft. That's too taller, I believe, to be the case. Okay, so you're now still apparently being one millibucket per tick. Okay, <clears throat> 1.67 millibuckets per tick. Now the solar panels, from what I, from what it looks like, just go in the corners, but they don't seem to be making much of a, of a heat difference. I mean, it seems to be like hot enough by itself, right? Am I crazy about that? Because it says just throw advanced solar panels like that. It's not making any difference in terms of the production speed though. You notice that? It's interesting. Huh. Alright, let's uh, come back in a minute after I play for a little bit and see if I forgot something. Oh, I think I figured out what's wrong. I figured it out. Hold on, nobody panic. You need to put more of these like so. Oh, now we're cooking. Hey there. 
Whoa, that is a big difference. <whistles> Holy cow, that is a lot. That is a lot more. That is a lot big difference. All right, cool. Speed upgrade time and energy upgrade time. So you need eight of those, eight of those. Let's get you guys energy upgraded and powered. So we should have a power line. Right there to get you going. Okay, and we'll do our best to replace all this stuff back to the way it was once we're once we're in a position to do so, right? Um, now my suspicion is, of course, hopefully your output on the left. I might need to rotate you because I feel like you're the front. So if I pop you there. Are you going to get I'd really like you to auto output if you would be so kind. Mr. Chlorine. Chlorine. Yes, that's what I want. Booyah. Booyah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. And then you go into there. So you're going to be an insert and you're going to be an extract. Always active. And there goes chlorine. Liquid chlorine is going in now. Liquid chlorine. Yes, that's what's up. Booyah, liquid chlorine. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So titanium ingots in here require liquid chlorine which is now complete now complete how cool is that okay with with mild amounts of you know impacting to our fancy little building here and i could totally facade it up if i needed to right but i'm gonna hold off on that for now because we're pretty cool so I would say that you're good, right? The only problem is um, the the sodium, right? So I'll just dump excess in terms of sodium. So you'll keep making chlorine, you'll void excess sodium. And then your only problem is not transferring the brine fast enough. At this point, that's the problem is he can't get brine fast enough. Um, conduits are ender. 500 millibuckets per tick, whereas you are 100 millibuckets per tick. So this should be five times as fast, right? At the very least, this should now say, wow, okay, cool. Let's also do that to you. Down, extract, west, insert, always active. 50 millibuckets per dick production. Okay, cool. So the limit now is how much water we're getting into this thing, which is kind of funny. Kind of funny. But we're making lots of chlorine. We're producing faster than the rotary condensator can keep up, at least. Um, and at some point, you'll fill up a, with a backstuffing of chlorine as well. So what we'll do is we'll leave this as is and see how it goes, um, and then we'll figure it out. So if we want to make titanium now, right, if we want to make titanium now, um, uh, the process is as follows. Um, we do two ore, four salt, and a carbon plate. So let's do like 10 carbon plates so that we can do 20. And then we need 40 salt. Now Pam's salt, <coughs> from what I know, uh, is, is just water in a pot, right? Um, so that should be pretty easy, right? Is there another more easy machine? 
Oh, and a cheese mold, huh? Okay. Um, salt. Salt. I don't think you're going to find much easier, right? Gaseous brine, huh? Ingot form of brine turns into salt from mechanism. I mean, that's... That's a thing, right? But pot from Pam's... Plus a bucket of water. Uh, do we have bricks on autocraft yet? I think we do. Right. All right, so for salt, call me crazy, but will this work? If we did this, and then we had this guy, and we had water. And just give him a bit of power for a minute. And then we did this. Plus a bucket of water. <whistles> hey there. Hey now. Salt. What's up? Good to see you. I like that. I like that. That that is that is easy peasy, right? So let's do that, right? You come with me, buddy. I'm gonna figure out where you're gonna live. I don't exactly know. I feel like back here is a pretty good place, only because we already have water being piped into something for that kind of process. So I kind of like it. Boom. Does that work? It does. Cool. Sequential fabricator. Power line goes in. So you should be cool. You and you with you here. Check. Sweet. Um, now the only thing is I need a place to put you. That makes sense. Give me a drawer. Give me a key. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would maybe just go all ins right here. Why don't we do that? Because you guys are currently doing what? That? You're doing that thing? Yeah, let's move all these. Okay, and your input is brown, as I recall, yes? Like you're extracting on brown? So let's make you extract on brown and you extract on brown. Let's just grab a little bit of salt. Oh, you know what? We probably want also the drawer downgrade thing because I think a stack of salt should be sufficient. Yeah, I think, I think that's a reasonable amount of salt. And no void upgrade, obviously. <coughs> So we'll set you guys to uh, brown extracts and just pop in that there should connect them so that salt should now be populating this. Maybe. Did I forget to do that and configure you to be that? That should be cool. So you are extract on brown always active and now our salt should be good. Yay! Salt. So now we have salt. So we need like 40 of that, right? So 40 salt plus uh, 20 of you plus 10, uh, whatchamacallit, carbon dudes. Let me ask for 10 of you. Oh, that's right. I, you, I, I had to craft a thermal thing which uses those. That should be a quick process though, right? Yeah, pretty quick. Boom. So that comes over here. And this, in theory, we put these guys in here. Processing. Processing. Hey, look at that, titanium. Woohoo! <laughs> Wow, that is a lot of effort, but we did it, but we did it, guys. We've got titanium. 
Booyah. Um, next question. Do we want to automate that with some kind of interface doohickey? I feel like the answer is yes. I also feel like if we're going to do that, we want to be super smart about our cable runs. You're out of wool. I mean, you're not really out of wool. We just don't have it on us. That'll do, right? So now we hook up an interface and we should be cool. Let's get a couple P2Ps just in case. So the plan is we'll probably have some machines in that general area eventually. So we'll bring up a P2P over there and then we should be good. What do we got by way of channels and cables and all that jazz? So this guy has 14 channels available to him still, right? So we should, uh, be able to run cables right along this line. Nope, don't do that. You're going to break everything. You're going to break all the things if you do that, dire wolf. So you know what I should be able to do? Um, conduits. Grab a few more of those as well. Hey, buddy. That'll work, right? I think that's cool. Now, the, the ME controller needs to go here for the item input, right? Or the interface, I mean. Right, so that'll go there. So let's have you come out here with your P2P here. Let's get the memory card ready. I'm pretty sure he's bound to the right thing already, but we're gonna make sure. So you are 5141, right? Nice, frequency 5141. Load that up, and you're outputting 5141, right? And your interface should be online now. So if I put these thermal evaporators away, they go into the system. Nice. Now, this should be your import bus, right? So if we grabbed an import bus, uh, when we craft titanium, we should be cool, right? So you make that import bus for me, buddy. Thank you. Boom. And uh, you can just boop, boop, right on down. Cool, so you've got two channels online now. So then we just need to make the pattern for titanium. Uh, which looks a little something like that. Right, salt, let's make sure it's the PAMS salt. Let's also make sure that salt's set to void properly. Right, but it's four salt per two titanium. Right, so uh, first off, hey buddy, add salt to the, to the void list. Boop, 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 nice. And then over here, we'll set up the titanium process <coughs> processing. Cool. So you, four salt. Which one is use the proper salt? Did I actually do that? Come on, dire derp. Yeah, four of Pam's salt, because that's the one that we have in the in the system. Cool. So now if I ask for titanium, right, if I want to make 10 of you, we just need 10 magnesium ore and the rest we can get. So let's get 10 of our magnesium ore that we have, right, and we'll kind of see how this works out. So if we pop over to here in time, it's also made the carbon plates and whatnot. 
right? But in theory, you're cooking. Nice. It's working. And then you're import busting from here, right? So that we're getting titanium. Nice. Dudes, auto-crafted titanium. What's up? That's what's up. Auto-crafted titanium is what's up. All right. So I'm pleased. I'm happy. Be right back. All right. So next steps. More, uh, more magnesium, right? Now, uh, where did I go and find a bunch of magnesium? It was that, uh, it was that water biome place, right? In this general direction. So there should be um, a place for me to jump down uh, through a hole that I dug near where a siren tried to attract me and, uh, and get myself some stuff. I thought it was in this direction. Am I making that up? Is it not this direction? Was it over here? No, it was this direction. It was just, you know, I kind of took a long way around it. But yes, this should be accurate. Hey, snow. Remember I was looking at that for like ever at one point? All right, cool. So here, right? And we should be able to vein mine a bunch of this stuff, which I'm gonna do right now between episodes. So we'll come back next time and uh, I will have a bit more magnesium, hopefully. And if not, then we will. Ooh, diamonds. Always with the diamonds. I'm finding diamonds everywhere I go down here, I tell you guys. Right, but uh, yeah, we'll come back next time. Uh, we will hopefully have a bunch more resources and a bunch more other stuff. These veins are kind of large, but haphazard and annoying to, to harvest, right? Like they're really big, as you can see. They go on forever, right? Look, look at all the boron. It, it's surprising how much there is here, actually, right? But I'll clear it all out between episodes and then come back, all right? So for now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.